Hey guys, it's your girl Abby. I'm finally back. It's been way too long, so I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Just updating you guys of where I've been, what's happened, and what's changed in last year. This is the first time I'm doing one of these videos where I drive and talk, but I just find it comfortable to drive and talk, especially like on the phone. I don't know why, but if you want to talk to me, let me know and I'll just drive and talk to you. <laughs> if you want, especially if you want to go on conversation. Right? So let me know what you think about this type of video and if you want more car chit chat videos. Right? Um, so straight to it. If you're if you're new to my video or to my channel, I should say. If you're brand new, welcome. It's all things Abby. I guess I did up change the name for all my old subscribers. Um, just had to change it due to changes in my life. You know, a lot has changed, a lot has um, happened within the last year and so. So I just had to change it so it can match where I'm at now and this level in my life, right? So straight to it, because I don't want this to be like a super long video or anything. Um, but I said a lot has happened. But ideally what I really want to talk about is premature ovarian failure, okay? Um, most people be like, well, what is that? Like premature ovarian failure is also called primary ovarian um, insufficiency. It's called other things too. Um, I call it POF for short. No, we're not talking about plenty of fish. Um, but yeah, so that is basically some premature vein filler is what I was diagnosed with when I was 17. Yeah, I got diagnosed at 17. Um, however, um, I knew something was wrong from I was 13 because I only saw my natural cycle once in my life and it was at 13 and I've never seen it naturally ever again if I want to have a cycle I need to be on some kind of hormone replacement therapy otherwise called HRT right I'm gonna say guys I am driving so if I'm not looking directly at you yeah I'm trying to be safe on the road at the same time <laughs> okay but yeah so I was diagnosed with that at 17 um was told I need to be on con basically on contraceptive until I was at least 50 and that was basically so I could have a cycle. No, telling a 17 year old that was tough because for one, I always wanted to um, be a mom. So it was a blow because basically she, um, the guy, my guy at the time was telling me I could only, I only had a 10% chance for my ovaries to start working again and everything. So it was like a blow. It was tough for me to handle or whatever. Started on the patch and stuff. Never, I didn't stay long on it. I sh yeah, I never liked it. I had reactions to it or whatever. I mean, and plus I was young and naive at the time too, like, you know, super naive. But anyways, fast forward until I was about 26, 26, whatever, going on 27. And basically, things started to go downhill for me in regards to my mental health, one, and also physically. Um, I lost a lot of weight up until I was 26. I think I weighed like 50, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, something like that. And I started to gain it back right like I I just knew mentally I wasn't okay like I just had super like a lot of anxiety like a lot like I can't even explain like I was yeah I had a lot of anxiety and then it ended up going into like I was being depressed right so being depressed fast forward until next last year um ending of summer last year I started to have these physical pains like I would have cramping in my lower belly I would have um, heartburn I would have headaches um literally just about any symptom a pregnant lady was having I was having because my best friend at the time was pregnant um, and she when I was explaining it to her she's like literally all the sign symptoms you're talking about I have them right now and I was like yo this is, this is just weird and she's like you need to go to a pregnancy but in my head I'm like I said I already have premature ovarian failure so I'm not thinking I'm pregnant you know so anyways I did the test to appease her was negative um, but the doctor um, I went to the doctor to see um, a few weeks later and explained to him he's like honestly you sound pregnant so let's do a blood test so i'm like okay he did one he was like okay it's negative and i'm like yo listen whatever it is we need to figure it out so i basically had him end up doing three ultrasounds last year they still couldn't figure it out um end up asking for because i had a male gynecologist and he pissed me off like honestly like just how he way he handled me i was like no like i don't want to talk no no more male gynos like you guys are just i don't know i can't i couldn't deal with him so I asked for a female one because I'm like based on my situation like I need somebody that kind of like can somewhat kind of understand or you know you know can, yeah try to understand um, and I basically got this other lady and when I explained everything to her I think I saw her in February of this year and I explained everything to her she just had this look on her 
the face like oh my god like she freaked out a little bit on um, me <laughs> you know what I mean she was just like scared a little so she basically just immediately um, put me back well put me on a new contraceptive pill because I explained to her like I do not like the patch like I like nothing about it I have side effects like I hate it she's like okay fine I'll get you something else and everything so she put me on what's called I think it's called Lolo yeah Lolo is the short name for it um, and when she put that put me back on put me on that all my physical side effects went away like I had none of them and the great part of the Lolo is that I never it doesn't give me side effects whereas the contraceptive patch gave me a lot like I got sore boobs like and I said I was allergic to this adhesive on it too so I didn't like it even more so when I got this it had no side effects and also it calmed my anxiety and my depression like it just it helped okay I'm not saying like I'm a hundred percent and it's like you know the golden chunk for me or anything but it's considering I have no side effects from it and I have no side effects from it and um yeah I have no side effects from it and it's helped me with my depression which was my main really my main concern because it was really that's something that really affected me it affects my friends around me it affects my family you know what I mean it affects my relationship my business everything for me to be depressed like you know what I mean like that messes up a lot in yeah, it messed up a lot, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, when you're depressed, you have certain stupid conversations and arguments. But nonetheless, it helped, okay? So, that got my health back on track. And it got me thinking more, too, about taking care of myself and also using my story. Because I don't, this is not something I talk about. I have so many people around me that don't know this. Like, I'm going to have family members be like, oh, my gosh. Like, really? Like, I know, I know it's coming, okay? But, um... Yeah, it's not something I talk about. I don't like sharing it because it's the look you get. It's the fact that nobody really knows what to say. And that's fine. You know what I mean? If you don't know what to say. But sometimes also not knowing what to say. Sometimes people end up saying the wrong thing. Or, you know what I mean? So, i just rather not talk about it. But at this point in my life and after going through all of that and, you know, taking it lightly. I felt that was my biggest thing. So, I used to take it way too lightly. You know what I mean? And especially my HRT the hormone replacement therapy so now I'm at a point where I'm like okay I need to use my story to inform people educate people you know what I mean inspire somebody else maybe somebody else is going through similar situations I'm going through you know what I mean I just want to let people know like you're not alone you know what I mean and if you're going through anything in regards to your cycle and your productive system or whatever like get it checked out I know it's a hard conversation to have it's a hard thing to face but it's better to check it out now because you don't know what can happen down the road. Like, it can transform to something else, right? And that is also part of POF. Like, not having a menstrual cycle is not good either. You know what I mean? Because you don't want any growth happening in your cervix or anything like that, okay? So if anything is happening for you, it's out of place, you're not seeing your cycle regularly, you don't know, you've never been to the doctor, go check it out. Don't be scared. Like, go check it out. Find somebody to come to. If you're not come to a male guy, no, say, listen, I do not want a male one. Like, myself, I do not want one right but definitely check it out and figure out what's going on with you so for at this point i just want to use my story and educate people not only just the world but also so my family members know and my friends know you know what i mean so they better understand me and they all can stop asking about when i'm gonna have kids like honestly i get it i'm 28 next month i get it you know what i mean but as i keep saying like i'm waiting on god you know what I mean? And it's his choice and it's his decision if that will be, if I'm able to have my own biological kids. Because I have God kids, I have step kids. So at this point, I know that I was given this story, this path for a reason. So I'm just going to follow it. You know what I mean? I'm just going to follow. I'm going to use my story and educate people on this condition. Because I know not many people know about it, know anything about it. People more know about like um, PCOS. You know what I mean? Because more people have that. But there are people out here with POF too. You know what I mean? And we're struggling on another level. You know what I mean? It's a hard pill to swallow to hear that, yo, there's a high chance that you can have biological kids. But fret not. There is opportunity that there is a chance for people to naturally have their own biological kids. You know what I mean? With that being said, it's also part of the reason I am trying to get back into my keto life because I already knew from time it helps with that kind of stuff. And I'm just trying to reset my body because most of the stuff that, you know, happens So I said, my, um, my situation is unexplained. Normally, it's supposed to be genetic or some like maybe I was like on chemotherapy or something like that. What normally causes this? But that's not the case for me. 
so I'm just following that unexplained category so in my head I'm like okay maybe if I turn back all the garbage that I used to eat get the gluten out of my life and you know eat a keto lifestyle maybe I can reset my body who knows it's all up to God at the end of the day but yeah so that's basically a big part of why I've been away I just had I ended up dealing with that and it just took me out like being depressed is not fun at all and I am grateful that now my hormones are balanced that I feel better I, I I'm ready to go out now like I'm ready to get dressed up go do my hair da 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 because I was not able to do any of those things like I didn't want to see people right so I'm grateful for where I'm at and yeah so I'm just gonna use my story so that's a big part of why I was away it's because I was dealing with that my health concerns on top of dealing with my own health concerns my mom wasn't dealing um feeling a hundred either like she went through a whole yeah last year was just not her year <laughs> let's put it that way you know so we just went through a whole a whole lot of mess last year on top of that my mom's mom passed away my grandmother the end of um November so that was another blow you know what I mean but at the end of the day I know that we you know yeah she passed away sorry um yeah but I know at the end of the day that she was ready you know what I mean so I'm grateful she's all right like yeah she's resting in peace let's leave it at that right so my mom's doing better which is awesome I'm doing better which is awesome but then we got COVID-19 now you know what I mean COVID-19 just slowed us down again but God is working here you know what I mean and that's really what I really want to say here is like at the end of the day like I know things have slowed down for us you know a lot of people are concerned about their bills and their businesses and everything but it's use this time to be grateful for what you do have you know what I mean because at the end of the day honestly things could be worse Let, let's just be honest here things could be way 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 worse you know what I mean so just be grateful for all that you do have and just concentrate on that and just stay prayed up and stay clean and stay safe like you know what I mean if you can stay home please stay home thank you don't let me like me well, I shouldn't say don't be like me because I like to take a little quick drive now and again, and which is what I'm doing right now. I mean, I, being stuck at home sometimes gets annoying for me. So I like to take a little quick drive, see the scenery, and head back home. You know what I mean? I mean, I didn't, I'm driving by myself. There's nobody in my car. Like, I am literally go from upstairs um, directly into the elevator, into the basement, and into my car. You know, I don't really see people. So... Yeah, so I'm staying safe out here. Make sure I got that hand sanitizer on deck all at all times if I can't wash my hands, right? But with that being said, even though COVID-19 is happening and everything, I am pushing forward in regards to my goals for this year. You know what I mean? I, will, I launched a new business beginning of this year. Well, I'll say I fully launched it beginning of this year because I ended up deciding, listen, if for all the things that are pressing me, I need to weed out the things in my life that don't match with regardless of people's opinions or what people want for me i have to choose what is right for me so i end up deciding to um deciding that i can't accounting was not for me that is it really wasn't like that life would it wouldn't have fit me at all like this so, no no if you really know me you know accounting no they don't go okay um yes it's an interesting topic subject da 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 cool but it's not my life so i could not yeah i would be that's so boring so with that being said, I am up launching Lash and Brow business. So I'm a certified Lash and Brow artist right now. So if you're in the GTA and you want to get your lash extensions done, your brows, waxing, stuff like that, let me know. I'll drop my Instagram down below. You can follow me. Stay up to date for when I do reopen. We're just waiting on all this to calm down a little bit more. We've got to keep stay safe out here. Um, on top of that, I am working hard to launch a beauty, a cosmetic company. Hmm. Yes, now that I am super proud of I, I love it, like that's my world Okay, beauty and all stuff Beauty here, all of that, I love it Right, so what I'm going to be doing um, Like all stuff Glam, you know what I'm trying to do And also do wholesale of course Because I'm trying to motivate people to do your own thing Be your own boss, like you don't have to work on 9 to 5 Only, you can have a side hustle You can have two side hustles if you want You know what I mean, and grow those into your own businesses this type of mind you should have like work on your own dreams like where you're trying to be at so i'm gonna be launching that very very soon delivery is just backed up on another level right now so but that is in works 
You get what I mean? So that's part of why I've been away too. I've just been focusing on just getting that to a point where I feel more comfortable, getting everything in line. And I'll be draw. I have my Instagram for that business already. It's shop via cosmetics. I'll leave that down below. It's beauty and all, of course. Um, but yeah, so I'll be doing, as I said, I'll be doing stuff like lip gloss. Here's one of them. This is like one of my first ones that I've made. And I absolutely love this lip gloss, okay? I'm actually wearing it right now. But um, yeah, I think, yeah, this one's called Gold Digger, okay? As you can see, like I've used out a lot of it. I like to really love this thing like I, I feel like I've yeah I keep using it but um I have many more that will be launching and stuff like that so stay tuned for that you know what I mean guys and we have more videos coming I will not make you wait a year again okay I promise because moving forward I'm just gonna be on a path of just health right now and wealth and health and getting things back on track and just living my best life you know living the life that God ordained for me right so yeah, I said I'll drop all the Instagrams below and definitely we have videos. Sorry, I just received a phone call. We got videos coming out Sundays and Fridays. Okay, so stay tuned and make sure you click that bell so you can get notified of when I have a new video coming out. Okay, or when I have a new video just uploaded. Okay, guys, and if you have any questions in regards to my new businesses or starting your own business or having um, questions on premature ovarian failure and stuff like that, definitely leave that in the comment section below let's stay connected ask me whatever you want to ask me i'll definitely answer your questions and stuff like that and talk more about this as i said i'm using this platform and this chance and my story to just educate somebody empower somebody inspire somebody you know and let people out there know because i know there's some little girl out there thinking she's alone and girl you ain't alone okay you got a, a whole lot of us out here going through similar things as you are okay so hold your head up girl if you need to go get it checked out, get it checked out. But find someone you can connect with. And yeah, just try to talk about it. You know what I mean? Don't bottle it up and sit on it and everything. Try to talk about it. Find somebody you trust to talk about. It's not a topic that you talk to any and any person about. Because I've been in a situation where I have unfortunately told the wrong person. And they basically used it to tell me back. That's never a good situation. So I'm basically saying that. To say find somebody that you genuinely trust. You know what I mean? with this i would say most preferably your mom or something you know or a grandparent or somebody really close to you but let me know what you think about this video i'll definitely make more of them if you guys really like this type of video i said if you have any questions let me know but your girl is back all right i will definitely not make you wait a whole year to hear back from me okay i'll be dropping content on a regular if you have any topics you want me to talk about as i said drop them below right and i'll drop all my information instagram and all that below as well so let's stay connected guys i think that's it for me guys i'm all i'm basically heading home right now i already did my quick drive so i'm heading home but i will talk to you guys again definitely like share and subscribe to my channel okay let me know you guys are loving my content so i can continue giving you guys amazing videos okay um i think that's it for me guys so i'll talk to you guys later stay safe and stay clean bye